different style of editing today. As you can see, I'm using the lenses of my new cheap lenses clip-on things that I have got for my phone. So you might find it's a wider lens. And that's awesome because I actually really like them. The macro settings really cool. The fish eye is a bit interesting. I'm not quite sure on that one. And this wide angle is perfect for video. I love that. I want to try a few different things and see how it works. I'm also not going to update you on a few things. I have um, a passion for photography and I've been gawking at cameras for about six months now and looking at ones that are about £2,000, ones that have been for £100 and all this whatnot. I have found one that is a bit of an older model and I really, really like it and if I'm lucky, I might be able to get it quite cheap on eBay. There's a specific one I'm looking at that has some cosmetic damage that's easy to replace. Basically, that's a quick update. I am hoping, because it is a bit of an older model, so it's not going to be as sharp as some of the newer models, and it's a bit of a unique one in a sense. It's, it kind of tries to go off this retro feel, uh, retro feel. It's a Fuji X-Pro1, and I'm thinking of getting the 35mm lens, which technically approximates to what a 50mm lens is like. I also am trying to get the 18mm, but that one seems to be less. Uh, it seems to have less of them and they're far more expensive, but we'll see. I'm also probably going to look at other lenses that I can use just using adapter onto this camera. But basically this is going to be my first uh, photography camera for my amateur photography. And I hope it'll work out. Also, if you're wondering why I'm in a different area, I'm in my dining room because I'm home alone. And I have been for the last few days, but I've kind of been busy tidying the place that I completely forgot to make a video. So apologies on that. So consider it's like, a, I guess, a a vlog, a day, like not a daily vlog, but a day vlog of what I'm doing. Because right now I am going to have some breakfast coffee and something else soon and then I'm going to go work on my laptop a little bit and then go to the gym come back and potentially walk the dogs that's what I have planned so far I'm not sure how much I'm going to execute that but we'll see oh another thing I forgot to say about the photography I'm hopefully going to get that the photography camera first not the uh, vlogging camera mainly because getting the um Photography camera is a bit more difficult due to the fact it's an older model, so you can't just buy, like, buy now. You Well, you can, but it's kind of expensive. Um, but you can get an auction on eBay for far cheaper, and there's quite a few uh, there that are really nice price that I was just thinking, maybe if I buy this now cheap, that means when I get my job and stuff, I can get my vlogging camera far quicker, yeah, it still takes longer to get it, but economically it puts me in an easier position. So that's just how that's going to work at the moment. And once I get the um, photography camera, I will probably test it out, show you some uh, shots and stuff like that. We'll see. I'm going to crack on, drink some coffee, get some breakfast, do some work. And then I am not going to show the gym because it's kind of awkward filming in the gym. And I'm just there to kind of exercise, so apologies on that. If you want to see a kind of cool like, workout montage, I'm not confident enough to do it yet, and I don't think people would like me filming in that place. I kind of want to keep my membership. I will just take some nice, pretty scenic video of, of the surrounding area, and then go and walk my dogs. Yep, anyways, I'll crack on. <laughs> I was gonna film, film them on the leash. 
But they're fast. They're fast doggies. Wait. the dog very much because I was um, walking with the couple with their doggy and it was fun and I asked if I could walk with them and take my dog off the lead because with big dogs like mine or big dog um, French Mastiff cross Bull Mastiff she looks a bit more like a French one but anyways uh, you can find that People feel a little bit intimidated, well, very intimidated by them sometimes, especially with the smaller, if they own like a smaller dog. This one was like a collie, so she, they seemed okay. Uh, I asked if I could take my dog off the leash, because this is the time of year, just before summer, where people take out their dogs to walk because it's warm enough, but it's not late enough in the year to put the regulation where you have to take, on, uh, you're not allowed to take your dog off the leash on the beach between, I think it's like 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. I think that area you're not allowed to take your dog off the leash during summer. So these months are kind of a bit difficult. If you are like me and you live in a beachside town who has these kind of regulations or rules, you have to be obviously used for more communication. And I, when I went out, I realized that there's gonna be no part of the beach that was dog free. So I was, I had to go up I was a bit awkward about it at first, but then I thought, no, screw it, they're gonna understand. And I asked, would it be okay if I take my dog off here? And in the end, they were fine. They were, I said, no, my dogs are friendly. They are very friendly to people and do uh, dogs alike. Uh, they should be fine. And they, they agreed and I took my dogs off the leash and my dogs played with their dog. Whilst I walked with them, talked about my dogs and I actually got asked advice about because they only have one dog and they're thinking of getting a new dog. And I have four, a Great Dane, a Wolfhound, a Mastiff, and a Pug Mix, Pug Alir. Um, so I have quite a few dogs. And they asked, like, would, how uh, would their dog feel if they got another dog uh, and uh, arranged it to the pack? Because I had two females and their dog was female and they were thinking of getting another female. So they're asking, so like, what, how would they react to each other? I couldn't obviously say because I have three females and a, a male dog. So I just explained to them like I have these dogs. I understand that the females, when they were brought in, were perfectly fine with each other. Like, you know, pup and old dog and stuff like that. And I just said to them that the only problem I had was between one of the females and the male when we brought the male in. And, you know, they were really happy that I gave advice. Um, obviously, I didn't give them the advice they would want, but they were appreciative of the advice anyway, so, you know, I'm... I understand dogs to an extent, but I'm not a dog whisperer, basically, is what I explained to them, and they were happy enough, you know, to walk alongside me. We didn't really talk much about me or stuff, but more about dogs, obviously, and it was just really nice. Today's been a weird day. I've been having really social... I'm just an awkward person, generally. So it, it kind of felt a little bit awkward for me, but it was fun. It was nice to socialize with these people, to, you know, walk my dogs, which I honestly don't do often, I should do it more. Um, and it's because I'm home alone at the moment. I get to kick myself in the butt and go, maybe you should walk your dogs. Maybe you should do these things. I've been so productive over the last three days. It's been unbelievable. I honestly would say it's been a nice experience to live on my own cook for myself okay my eating times are a little bit all over the place because i've been eating in the middle of the night but apart from that i've been a somewhat <laughs> uh, competent adult and because i've never lived on my own not yet i haven't been able to experience to this extent what i feel like it was a bit lonely at first i didn't know what to do with my stuff i was kind of bored which is weird because normally i stay like in my room which is no different than an empty house but I felt bored and that's why you know, I was walking the dogs, cleaning the house, doing my thing and I honestly have more confidence in myself moving out now than ever and it really gave me a taste of hey if you had your own place this is how I'd feel. Obviously this is quite a large house and my flat would be quite small 
but it was a nice experience. Even living locally, living here for the last 20 years, having these experiences is really nice. It really showed me that I'm maturing as a person, that I'm growing up and going out there and not just hiding like a little kid in the corner or in his room. And it's just nice. So yeah, if you are a person who tends to stay inside all the time, that's awesome, that's fine, I do it, it's fine to do that. But you know, going for a walk, talking to people, like they're not gonna bite. They're not gonna feel, you know, like you're being rude or anything like that. And I've got to remember that. And if you find you're socially awkward like me, just learn that people don't mind you talking to. Most people don't, some do, but most people don't. And also least, a lot of people prefer if you strike up conversation with them than if you're like sitting in the waiting room, uh, kind of awkward. You meet some really cool people. I didn't expect to meet some of the people I've met today locally. I always thought, you know, oh, I have to travel to meet those kind of people. But no, you can you can have some awesome experiences just right outside your door. Anyways, what I'm gonna do today now is basically just chill and watch some videos and stuff like that. So it's not really that important um, to be vlogging continuously. But I hope you really enjoy this. I have had such an awesome day. I am quite motivated to be doing stuff. I'm probably gonna edit this video post it today potentially. I'm not gonna guarantee that. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to do more like these, since summer is just around the corner. I should be getting out more. And, um, I'll see you in the next one.